All right, guys. I'm trying to get a good video at this place. This is at my parents' house. Oh God, if I catch a fish, I'll freak out. this we're gonna try Senko's out for a second see what happens so this is 20 pound braid it's had eight pound fluorocarbon I believe rod's a little bit heavy but I, I think it's okay that's the Daiwa Senko I think they're actually made by Yamamoto with a tail got a little club tail on it all right bye Guys, you see that? Not huge, not huge. One fish down. Perfect. Want me to reel in that other one for you? This feels like a bass. That's not too bad. We'll just switch the pole back to me. You can jump the fence. Sounds good. Guys, this is the first bass in a while I've caught on a hot dog. That's pretty great right here, not gonna lie. Here, I'll go and jump over real quick. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, that was all you. Thanks, Dad. Ultralight is a ton of fun, isn't it? Right there, solid fish. That was pretty cool, guys. Pretty happy about that. That was nice on the ultralight. Nice. Very nice. Here. Took a while was sinking. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, uh, fly. There you go. Bring right over here. <clears throat> Dude, look at that guy. <laughs> wow, what a chunker. Here, want to hold him? No, I just got to pull out and get him back in the water. Dang, look at how chunky that guy is. Oh, geez. That's a healthy fish. Oh, oh. Go on there? Yeah. Bass or catfish? I think it's a bass. Sure. Here. It's yours, Dad. Bass? Yeah, it's a bass. I'll lose it. I can catch these all day. <laughs> Good for you, Dad. That's pretty cool. It's like it goes in volleys. Like if you see, it's like if the conditions are just right for one fish to go, go. Then like within the next five minutes, we'll see a few other fish go. And then I'll stop for like a little bit. And then all of a sudden the conditions turn right again for like all of a sudden like five fish. Look at that fish, guys. I just use 
use like a one or two aught wide gap hook. I go smaller because it gives the body a lot more action. Also, it's a lighter hook. And so it allows that bait to get fully sucked into its mouth and then also turn. Catch a fish on a fly is worth it. On again today, guys. Purely fly fish today if I can. On the clouds are minnow tide. Pretty happy about that. There you go. We had an hour to fish today. I think in an hour I can land five fish here on the fly. Because that's the goal. So that's gonna be fish every 12 minutes. I think I can do it. Got here at 9.30, I'm gonna fish about 10.30. I got work at 12, so that gives me time to get home, get the dogs out for a good walk, and then GTFO. And then we're gonna head down to the next spot. So right here's 10 pound fluorocarbon. To tip it, I always like using fluorocarbon uh, for fly fishing. Bra more abrasion resistant than mono, has less stretch than mono. Come on. Right on schedule. Fish every 12 minutes. It's right on schedule, actually. All right. Let's see what we got. Here's all the flies you can use. And remember, they're hidden. Stuff that's white, minnow looking. Oh, you know what? We're gonna try woolly bugger today. So this is a woolly bugger I tied. You look kind of like a bait fish. Oh, we are 49 minutes in. It's gonna be nine minutes to catch two fish. That's four and a half minutes per fish. We're at 50 minutes, 35 seconds. So we are gonna be booking it. Booking it, booking it, booking it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, okay. Here we go. Ooh, good cast. There we go. Ooh, I think this might be the biggest fish of the day, too. That is a big alligator lizard. Look at that thing. Let's tell you about what we learned today. I almost made my goal. I have four fish in an hour and four minutes. I wanted to get five fish in an hour. And unfortunately, I didn't do it. So, 
the three things we learned, tie multiple of the same fly. Two, leave all your ego out the door. Three, what's the third one? Don't waste time. And I think that's kind of tied into ego, you know? So yeah, overall, today was a great day. Caught four fish, an hour and 10 minutes on two different patterns, all on the fly rod. I'm looking forward to going out and doing this kind of stuff more with you guys. The GoPro is great for when you're trying to get things done real quick, want to keep things simple. But one th reason I started this vlog is I wanted to go ahead and do more artistic, a more of artistic vlog, more of a cinematic vlog, and do a good job of telling you guys a story. So I've done that with my other, uh, with my first video. If you guys have any tips for me, any suggestions, please let me know. I really need the help right now and trying to learn how this vlogging, fly fishing, outdoorsmen, whatever. Just let me know. Give me, uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. Any way I can improve myself, uh, that is awesome. So yeah, thank you guys. Please subscribe. Have a great day.